You're watching Soulful Discussions. All right, so hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. All right, all right. First of all, can you tell everybody how we kind of know each other? Like a little background. Okay, I don't know how long ago it was, yeah. but we are ex coworkers. We used to work together. Absolutely. For a few years. For a few years, say, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so, how did this all come about? I, I kind of approached you when I saw you in our ex place working and I asked you to do this, right? Yes. Absolutely. And so, what are the topics we're going to cover? We're going to cover three topics. I just told you, like, maybe two minutes ago. <laughs> you said feet mental uh -huh. health and re you're close Reflex. yep re reflexology reflexology absolutely so let me ask you this when you hear the word feet first thing you think about what goes through your mind uh you're constantly on your feet like walking well especially at the job we were yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I thought of. all yeah. the time absolutely okay cool we're gonna ask you some questions today but your thoughts how you feel about the subject you just answer however you like okay okay um what about mental health when you hear that do you think about anything in specific or anything like that uh i just think about stress okay you know like especially with the type of job i have i feel like i need to yeah. look into mental health or ease my mind absolutely it could be a little rough there sometimes i i i still remember my days there man it's like high intensity at all times and you yeah. rarely get those moments where you can just kind of like chill. So yeah. uh, I definitely that. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about stress and anxiety, kind of how to deal with it, like some things you might do to do it. And I'll, I'll actually give you some things that I've kind of learned about um, in terms of dealing with it. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Reflex Lodge, you said you don't know what that is, no. but I'm going to give you information today. and You can tell me what your thoughts are about okay. it afterwards. OK, sound good. Sounds All good. right. Let's start with the first question. OK, OK. Um, how do you think we can improve mental health awareness throughout the world? What are some things we could do? I feel like they've already done such a good job with it like okay. it's being more aware mm -hmm. um like i think i know we're at our job now yep. they just brought out a little area where they plan to focus on mental health oh wow yeah that's amazing Actually, legit like two days ago they're gonna set up a session wow. so that you can you know yeah like relax or focus on yourself that's so, really dope man. yeah so Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think after like, you know, post pandemic, mm -hmm. a lot more awareness because a lot of people like not being able to leave their homes and, you know, the regular routines that you might have had and you, you kind of take those things for granted, right? Being able to talk to people and yeah. things like that. That's kind of how I got started with my YouTube channel. I was like, man, I, it, it's kind of cool to talk to people and like learn new things and mm -hmm. get an aspect from somebody else's different. So um, that's really cool. Um, I want you to fill in the blank on this question. The world would be better if... Yeah, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, because everything's about capitalism, right? especially in yeah. America. It, like, yeah. it's all about like who can make money, how much you can make, and yeah, it's it's really crazy. It's really crazy. Um, if a friend or loved one was struggling with depression or anxiety, is there anything you would do in terms of like giving them advice or maybe like do to help them or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. But I guess in my situation, I wouldn't know how to. Yeah. Because I know people are different. Some people actually do not like to be helped, like to be left alone. Very true. So, like, for example, my sister, I think I know she went through a stage like that. Okay. And I, and I honestly did not know. Oh, because it's like her. invisible, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just kind of like just letting them know, like, I'll be there for you. You can come to me whenever you actually found me, you need me or need help. That's, and I think that's a big one. Just. Sometimes just that alone, like, hey, if you just need somebody to li listen to you or whatever, it doesn't have to, you know, be this whole thing where I got to give you advice or anything. Because <laughs> the advice you might give might be terrible advice, <laughs> actually. So you never know. Um, uh, in terms of anxiety, right, uh, what are some things that bring you anxiety? You don't have to go too in-depth, just maybe more of a surface-level answer. And then when you feel anxiety happening, what do you do to, like, counteract how you're feeling in the moment? Okay. I like to like prepare myself for certain things. Absolutely. So, so kind of like, like this is yes, like. Yes, <laughs> like this is. You know, 
So how are my you? Comfort zone, Absolutely. So let me say. ask you this: in this moment right now, yeah. how are you coping with it? Like, you're here now. You, we've already been talking for <laughs> five minutes. Oh wow! How are you coping with it? I guess since I just turned thirty a few okay. years ago, I just felt like I need to finally get out of that, out of that comfort zone. That was one of the things I talked to you about when I was trying to get you to do the interview, yeah, right? Exactly. Like step out of that comfort zone. Yes. Absolutely. So that, that's a really good one. Like stepping out of your comfort zone. Is there anything in particular you like might say to yourself, like to like kind of give yourself that push that you need? Because I know sometimes we'll say we want to get out of that comfort yeah. zone, but then we'll be like, yeah, but no, I don't want to do that. So like, what do you say to kind of like motivate yourself? I guess Oh, wow, there's yeah. other things, other things are just to the best. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, let me ask you this. Would you consider yourself to be like an open-minded person or are you somebody who's more like stick to the routine? Oh, I wouldn't say I'm open-minded. Okay. Yeah. So you feel like you try new things? Like you, you're somebody like if it's a um, food. Uh-oh, she's like, oh, wait. Well, like, yeah, <laughs> that's recently. <laughs> okay. Recently. So okay. recently you've been yeah, trying to do that yeah. more. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, in terms of yourself, if there was one thing you could change about yourself, right? And it doesn't have to be something physical, but maybe it's a behavior you have. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would change? I guess being more social. More social? Yeah. Okay. That's right. a good one. Yeah, yeah, I think when I first met you, like you were like a very like kind of like calm and like quiet person yeah. but it's like if somebody starts a conversation with you you will like yeah. talk to them or whatever mm -hmm. like that but i don't think it's you're not the type of person that will go out of your way to like talk to somebody else yeah. like that i think that that's a that's a big thing so what have you been doing to kind of like help yourself with that like well, that's why i decided to become a manager because you have to, you have to absolutely yeah, so that's why i finally took the leap into that position i'm like okay it's time to like stop this so. yeah Cause everything can be scary, man. But at the same time, like, I feel like once you step out there and you start doing it, like, kind of like, I was just telling you, we've been talking for five minutes. You're like, whoa, really? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. Right. Uh -huh. But five minutes went by and it's like nothing crazy is happening anything like that. So like, those are positive things. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. All right. So let's get into these questions now, Ben. Treaty, how you feel? When I think about my feet, I feel, how do you feel? Tired. Tired. Yes. Absolutely. So I'm guessing. What would be like the amount of time you work on your feet? Like if you could put a number on it for the week. Ooh. Okay, so automatically 40. 40, yeah, damn. <laughs> yeah, I'd say maybe like 50. 50 hours, Jesus, yeah. wow, that's crazy. Uh, We'll get into some of these other questions a little bit later, but okay. um, let me ask you this, have you ever received compliments about your feet? Has anybody ever said to you, hey, I think you have nice feet? Has that ever happened? No. Never. I wear tennis shoes a lot. So. You, you do? You're like a yeah. tennis shoe gal. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Let me ask you this. Let's say it's a rare occasion. You mm -hmm. wore wearing sandals. Maybe you were at, I don't know, the pool or you went to the beach. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave you a compliment like that. How would it make you feel? I don't know. I'm so about my feet. Maybe because I do wear a lot of tennis shoes. Okay. So you're self conscious, conscious about yeah. your feet. Okay. So if somebody gave you a compliment, you would. You would be like, would it make you think about it? Or would it make yeah. you, you'd be like, well, why? Or would like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, like, why? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Is there a difference between when you get a compliment from a man or a woman? Like if a man gives you a compliment, do you feel one way? And then if a woman gives you a compliment, do you feel differently about that? Mm, I guess maybe. Okay. There it is. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. I get that a yeah. lot. It's like, it's like, yeah, women tend to like know and they will compliment you about things that are like, you know, mm -hmm. that, that men don't normally look at or whatever like yeah. that. Absolutely. Um, what are some things that you do like to be complimented about? Like if somebody is going to give you a compliment, you're like, man, that really made my day, made me feel good that they said that to me. What What are some compliments like that for you? Probably about your shoes, I would imagine. Like, Those are nice shoes. kicks. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't know Times. Yeah. Um, I think any compliment is nice. To okay. Be honest, I don't think it's like a particular one. Okay. Just the the compliment about your feet will make you think. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like you, been, and is that more because maybe you yourself don't think you have nice feet, maybe. so you're like you would be like kind of like a little bit shocked. Is yeah, that what it is? Probably, okay, a little yeah. bit more shocked. Okay, that makes sense. Um, how often do you get pedicures? 
You've never had a pedicure? No. Why is that? get my nails done either I yeah guess. so i think maybe if we were to like, do both more often interesting. or do one yeah i don't actually okay interesting um let me ask you this have you ever heard of a medical pedicure before no okay so medical pedicures are when you go see a, a podiatrist specialist mm -hmm. of the foot um they take a look at your feet they like make sure like your toenails grow correctly right some people like will go to like get the cosmetic ones and they cut the nails any kind of way but they can tell you like exactly the grain your nails are supposed to grow in. They um check your toe alignment to make sure your toe alignment is right. Mm -hmm. They will check your feet for like dead skin, fungus. They do all the work there with like medical grade equipment. What would your thoughts be on seeing somebody like that who can give you like insight into like what's happening with your feet, maybe mm -hmm. give you more information? How would you feel about that? I would be, I would be down to do that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe something to set up with mom, right? Yeah. Go, go to a place like that. Yes. That could be like a happy birthday or something like that. <laughs> Get a two for one. There you <laughs> yeah, go. Right. Um, so I kind of already know where this question is going to go, but I'm going to ask anyway. How often do you wear open toe shoes, sandals, flip flops, things like that? Not often. Okay. Just like if I'm at home. Okay. Not even at the beach? Well, I mean, yeah, but I don't go to the beach often. Oh, okay. Surprisingly. Are you not a beach person? <laughs> no, not really. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Living that's what I'm saying. Probably like, go to the beach. and it's like it'll be like when you move somewhere else, you'll be like, "Man, I wish I would have went to the beach more." <laughs> uh, let me ask you: How often do you go barefoot? No shoes. Really rare, and again, it's just like at the house. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard of a term called earthing and grounding before? Does that sound familiar to you? I feel like I've heard that earthing and grounding. Yeah. yeah. It's so it's for people. Um, basically want to feel like one with like the earth mm -hmm. so it's like a meditative type thing you can do so let's say for example you right you're you're at work you had a very long day you're like man it's been crazy mm -hmm. like mentally like i'm kind of like a little bit drained mm -hmm. something that you could do is like go to like a park or if your front yard or backyard you have grass there you can kind of just go and stand in the grass and just like Focus on what you're feeling in that moment. You don't focus on like, oh, what happened at work? And, mm -hmm. you know, I got to go in here and go cook or whatever it may be. Your only focus is on what am I feeling in this moment? So you will focus on things like, oh, hey, I feel like cool breeze. I feel like the grass underneath my feet, mm -hmm. things like that. And that's supposed to help you like basically be able to regulate the, oh, some of those emotions you may feel that are like kind of negative or mm -hmm. like make you depressed or anxious or anything like that. Um, and it's it, it was it was actually phrased to me like this from somebody. Um, who is a Reiki master. I don't know if you know what those are, but like, those are like people who can tell you about like the different points of the body and things like that. Oh, They're, okay, okay. But um, basically uh, she said to me like, going barefoot, right? It's almost like when you were a child, right? You would mm -hmm. go around, run around. You never thought about like anything else. Like you're just like free. You're yeah. just like the feeling of freedom. Mm -hmm. She's like doing that as an adult gives you that same feeling that you had when you were a kid. Like yeah. just being free, I'm not worried about anything. You know the bills and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be there. It's not going to. Yeah. I don't need to focus on that. So, um, yeah, that might be something for you to try. Would that be something you would try? Yeah, I have a front yard. There Maybe it is. Guess. Maybe that's something that you can, yeah. you know, give a try to. Absolutely. All right. So now, in this moment right now, all right, mm -hmm. can we see what your feet look like? Ooh. She gave us the ooh sound. No. Okay. And so why not? Is it that self-conscious thing? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to challenge you right now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm okay. going to tell you about what got me started with my channel. Now I'm okay. going to come back around. Okay? okay. Have you ever heard of exposure therapy? I think I talked to you about this at Target. Oh. No. Maybe I don't think we did talk about this. I did. Exposure therapy. So exposure therapy is for people who like, you feel uncomfortable in certain scenarios, uh -huh. situations, right? Uh -huh. For you, you're very self-conscious about okay. your feet, right? Yeah. So... Let's say that that's something that you would be want to be more confident about. You want to be better at it, right? Uh -huh. What therapists would tell you to do is go out and do that. Yes. Do it over and over and over again, right? Mm, okay. The more you do it, you'll learn to become like more comfortable. You never fully get over it. You're always yeah. going to feel like a little bit anxious at first, but you'll learn to be able to tell yourself like well, nothing bad is going to happen. Like the sky is not going to fall. Like, you yeah. know, it's not going to kill me or anything like that. So like, what is it I'm really worried about, mm -hmm. right? So when I heard that, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a chronic overthinker. If anybody overthinks situations, it is me. And so I wanted to be better at making more snap decisions in certain situations because I'm like, not every situation requires me to like overthink it. Like, I, yeah. you know, sometimes I can just go with the flow and just see what happens, right? I don't need to like be so caught up in my own mind. So yeah. 
What I came up with was an idea because during the pandemic, a lot of women became like famous for foot modeling, right? That's a that's a thing, right? I did not know that. That's a thing. Yeah, you okay. you'd be surprised. So okay. that's a thing that a lot of women became famous for. So I was like, mm -hmm. what if I had a, a YouTube channel where I go out and I just talk to women who I just met or women who I know, mm -hmm. and see if they can practice some of that exposure therapy, right? Mm -hmm. By way of, because a lot of women are self-conscious, believe it, you're not by yourself. A lot of no. women are like self-conscious. They may uh -huh. be like, well, I don't have a pedicure or this is not yeah. like this. And, and so it's like, it's not so much about that. It's just saying, can you be comfortable in the moment? Don't focus on all those other mm -hmm. things. Can you in the moment, put all that stuff aside and just say, let me practice some of that exposure therapy, okay. right? Because it can mm -hmm. be helpful to you. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this to like, kind of like try to like improve the conversation around feet because feet is a lot. It's a lot of different things that go into it. Self-care. Um, mm -hmm. when we're gonna talk about reflexology, you'll kind of see where I'm going with that portion of it. But like, you know, overall, just having confidence about like, you know, you know, going out, like getting your feet done, things like that, and yeah. not having to feel self-conscious about all this stuff. So, yeah. what are your thoughts about that? Can we get you to practice some of that? You know, exposure therapy right now. Step out of your comfort zone. I know it's gonna be a little tough. It is. But can can we get you to test some of that? For me. Oh <laughs> all right. So here's what we yeah, gotta do. I don't know any of these people. Uh, it's, it'll be all good. Don't even if you did. What's the worst that's gonna happen from that? If they say to you, "Oh, hey, I saw you on that channel with your feet." What's the What's the worst that's gonna happen from that? So what? They saw you. It's over with. <laughs> all right. So first of all, what size shoe are you wearing? And we love the J's here that you got thank on. Thank you. Uh, five and a half. Five and a half. Oh, real small foot. Yeah. All right. And does it vary depending on the type of shoe you're wearing? Like if you're wearing a different type, you probably wouldn't know because you only wear two shoes, but. Does it, do, does it vary depending on the type of tennis shoes you're wearing? Uh, there's certain models of Nikes that I need to wear a size 6. Size 6, a, a little small. size up. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's have you take the shoes off. I'm going to have you leave your socks on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm going to you leave your socks on for now. Okay. And she says she works a lot, people. So she's yeah, on her feet is. a whole lot. All right. I'm never going to pedicure my life. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. What I'm having you do is turn this way and I'm having you put your feet flat right here. Oh. Okay. So yeah, just, I'm prepared for this. Yeah, just bend your knee. You'll be fine. You'll be oh, fine. We're going to go through this. Okay. All right. You okay? Yeah. Sorry. All I messed right. up my wrist. Oh, wow. Okay. Hopefully you're all right. Okay. So, and let me ask you this. Do your toes, it looks like your second toe is a little longer, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Do you know what that's called? Ooh. There's different types of toe alignments. Yeah. Uh, I've looked it into it before. Okay. A Grecian oh. toe alignment, a Greek toe. Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I read something about, like, duck feet or something. Like, <laughs> they, like, one's bigger than the other. No, no, no. It's, no. Called, it's called a Greek toe. So, if, you're, if your bigger toe is bigger, it's called an Egyptian toe alignment. Oh. This is a Greek toe right here. Oh. Yeah, you might have some Greek heritage or something like that. I've been trying to figure out where my last name came from. So. There you, it may be from Greece. Today. There you go. All right. Let me have you extend out straight like this. Straight? Yep. Like that. Uh -huh. Feet straight out. Both? Yep. All right. All right. So now we'll have you take off your socks. Okay. It's got to be a little bit. She is like super like, ah, how do I do this? It'll be okay. No, it's it, not. I promise you it'll be okay. Oh my God. Nobody's here to judge you. Nothing like that. Like this is the practice to see. Can you get out of your comfort zone? Okay. You can do this. I didn't state my name in the beginning. Right? You did not. Okay. <laughs> you asked me, should I, should I state my name? I was like, do not state your okay. name. All right. I don't, yeah. even, I don't even know what they look like. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're not judging. Like I said, we're not here to okay. judge. Okay. Wait. Yeah, flat? you put them down flat first. Yeah. Flat first. Flat first. Mm. Okay. You have nice feet. No. You do. No. So why do you say no? Why? Yeah. I just feel like because I wear so much tennis shoes, they're technically not like. Are you saying like aesthetically beautiful? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? All right. Put them down flat. No, they look fine. You mm. you have. I would say your toes are more on the slender side because you're kind of slender yourself. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Do you think the same thing? Yeah. I'm saying about your feet, your hands are kind of like yeah. that too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, perfectly fine. It looks like you keep them trimmed yourself, I'm guessing. Yeah. Absolutely. Not nothing bad. All right. Let me have you put them out straight like this. Yep. All right. So let me ask you this. That was very hard to kind of get you out of that comfort zone, <laughs> but you're out of it now. Okay. How are you feeling? Weird. Weird. Why weird? Huh? Why weird? Because we're staring at my feet. You were staring at your feet. <laughs> okay. 
All right, we are starting to fail. So it's not that bad. Exactly, it's yeah. not that bad. But it's nothing that's like hurting you or anything like that. Yeah. It's just you're self conscious about them, mm -hmm. so automatically the attention is like, oh god. But yeah. there's nothing bad. Yeah. Okay, leave your feet out. We go through a couple more exercises. Okay. Okay. All right. So first of all, let's talk about reflexology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reflexology is about the different pressure points you actually have in your hands and in your feet, right? Okay. Those pressure points actually like connect to different parts of your body. So let's say for example, through like a massage, through acupuncture, through acupressure, you can alleviate like stress and tension to various parts of your body. So let's say for example, you're somebody who deals with migraines, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually a portion of your hands and your feet you can massage that alleviates the tension you feel in those moments. Okay. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about kind of reflexology, what it can do from you from like a more holistic standpoint? Like, how do you feel about that? You think it's a good thing, bad thing? Something. Would yeah. it be something you would try? Yeah. All right, do you ever deal with migraines? No. Does anybody in your family ever deal with migraines? From what no, you know? Actually, yeah, <laughs> no? no? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So, but that could be something that you could go out and do. So like you say like you work on your feet all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but sometimes you can carry stress in different parts of your body, mm -hmm. but it can be relieved like through getting a massage in your hands and your feet. So like you can easily go seek out somebody who like does reflexology. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they'll actually target all those areas for you. And by the time you get up, you'll feel like a lot different. You'll be like, oh, oh I don't feel that anymore. Absolutely. So when we get to reflexology, we usually like to talk about sensitivity, mm -hmm. right? How ticklish do you tend to be? Oh, very. Very ticklish? Yeah. Is that why you don't get pedicures? No. 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 Okay. Because, like, even I've considered going and getting a massage. Uh -huh. And even though I'm ticklish, I feel like once I'm put in the situation, uh -huh. I think I'd be, like, professional. Where I would, like, okay. Just, you would try to, like, it. Yeah, just, just hold it in. Yeah. Okay. Now, I have a trick for you. Do you okay. mind if we test it to, like, show you how to be less ticklish? Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Let me have you hold this for one second. All right. And get my tool out real quick this is a tool that was made specifically for like testing like uh neurological responses uh -huh. like by doing this on a person's feet okay. so like you should respond to it by like oh i feel that uh -huh. okay so okay. cool yeah toes up okay i'm gonna start from bottom to top i want you to tell me where you feel it at the most and which foot is most sensitive okay, okay. sound good okay. ready one two three okay where are you feeling it at the most on this one in the middle. So it's like in your arch area. Yeah. Okay. What's the sensitivity level on one to ten? Scale of one to ten. Mm, I would say like a six. A six. Okay. Yeah. Let's try your left. You tell me if this one is worse. One, two, three. All right. This one is yeah, more. Yeah. You can I can definitely good. tell. Like as soon as yeah. I got like in here, you started moving a lot. Okay. Is this one like a little bit more old, all over? Because that one was just in the middle. This one more yeah. old, all over. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the scale here? I'm gonna say. A nine. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. While I'm doing it, I want you to wiggle your toes. You tell me if you feel it more or less. Okay. okay. Wiggle your toes. You feel it more or less. Do you know why? No. So think about it this way, right? Your mind controls every part of your body, mm -hmm. right? It, you tell your body to do something, it does it. So that's almost like a distraction because while you're like sending those signals, you can't like really like realize what's happening. But at the same time, because you're wiggling your toes, it moves the energy to a different spot. So like while I'm doing it, one spot, you don't feel it because it's moving it somewhere else. So that's a trick for you. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Let's try your left. You said this one was more. Yeah. And is it more or less? It's less. What did it go down to? Because you said originally it's like a nine. Yeah. What did it go down to? So like three. So I got. Yeah, I didn't even see. There's a trick for you. Absolutely. The last thing we're going to have you do. Okay. These are some movements we're gonna have you do to test like flexibility, dexterity in your feet, okay? I want you to, first of all, put your feet close together, okay? Bend your toes, make a fist, tell me if you feel pain or discomfort. Is that easy to do? Is it hard to do? Do you feel any pain? No. Relax. Okay. Spread your toes. Tell me if you feel pain, discomfort. Oh, you have a good spread. You do yoga? No. You have a very good spread. Really? Not a lot of people are like very dexterous like that. Very good. Okay, relax. Last thing, just wiggle your toes for about 10 seconds. You tell me if you feel any pain, discomfort, any cramping, anything happening. Just wiggle. Sometimes after you're doing it for a while, people start to feel like a little cramping or anything. You feel anything like that? No. Pretty standard? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's pretty much it. All right. So, let's wrap up the interview. First of all, in terms of my approach, when I first asked you to do this interview, mm -hmm. how did you feel my approach was? Was it good? Was it bad? Is there anything I could work on? No. You made okay. me feel comfortable going into it. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. In terms of the interview from start to finish, right? 
Did you see how everything was going in the line? Did it make sense to you? Did you learn anything new from the stuff we talked about? Yes, I did. It's very informative. Okay. Yes. And I'm guessing you learned more about getting out of your comfort zone, right? Because yes. out of all this, right? Yes. You took your feet out. And I'm pretty sure, like you said, self like self consciousness. But yeah. in this moment right now, you're probably not even thinking about it as much until I just mentioned it, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So you kind of learned coming out of that comfort zone some things you can do to kind of test yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Um, last thing I always ask on my channel, something you can say to my channel that maybe you've learned in life, maybe you've learned from some a life lesson somebody kind of gave you, something that could just be helpful to them like in day-to-day -day travel. And don't overthink it. I just want you to give me yeah. whatever comes to your mind first, like just let it go. Maybe it's something you just learned right now today, like through what we just did. What did you um, learn from this experience? To be one with Earth. To be one with Earth. And that's I something that. I do plan to try that out at home. It's going to be helpful for so. you. I'm telling you, just don't take your phone with you. Don't do it. Just go stand out there and just see, like, kind of focus on what you're feeling. Only what you're feeling that moment. I guarantee you, you'll feel like a lot different yeah. when you leave that spot. I do need that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate you stopping to do this interview with us. I know it wasn't easy. Absolutely, but we appreciate you and we hope you have a great one, okay? Thank you, Brittany. All right.